this is the powder this is the um, liquid and then these are the two needles that's what it looks like <coughs> on the front So you have your alcohol swabs, I give you two of those, and then your needle that has um, liquid, I want to say it's water, and then you have your cetratide, which is your powder, and then you have two needles, you have a smaller needle, and then you have a bigger needle. Take it off, you take your nail, and you pop it off. With this, you don't twist it off because it's not going to twist off. You have to rock it from side to side to get it off. And then you take your mixing needle, and it has tabs here. You just separate them and pull it back a little and I just hold it like this and stick it on and twist it on and pull it out now what you want to do is you want to take this off and then inside hopefully you guys can see this you take it stick it in the middle and it starts to dissolve like that. Ah. Once you're done mixing it, it should look like, oh crap, you can't see it. It should look like this. It should be in liquid form where you can do this. But it's all mixed up together already. So, there you go. Now you want to take it like this and just pull all the liquid out pull all the liquid out till there's nothing left <coughs> and you pull it straight out looks like that where you've got the liquid in it and then my liquid stops here and then you've got air there so I just shake it to get all the bubbles out and then you take it like this and you push it up until you get a drop like that put the top on it and then I put mine in my little container that they gave me. Then I take a baby needle because you can see the difference between the two needles, which one is which. One is bigger than the other. And I prefer using the smallest needle possible because I'm a wuss. So you just do the same thing pull it back and then you take this stick it on twist it and throw that piece in the trash and then here's what you are left with so now it's time for the shot <laughs> okay so now the hard part this is the part that I hate the most I don't mind the mixing of the medication it is the actual shot that I can't handle so you're gonna see my husband helping me with doing this injection because I do not like needles by any means I don't like them even when it comes to oh, them doing blood work and stuff like that I still flinch you know I, I it's something with me and needles I just I, I can't do it so as you see here, I have a piece of ice that I'm holding on my belly in the spot where my husband's going to be doing the injection. Um, my nurse that is at the um, 
institute that I go to, she gave me this hint of using um, an ice chip to put on my belly to kind of numb the area. So, yeah, here we go. Alcohol swab. You want to clean the area very good to get rid of like all of the bacteria and things like that. And as you can see, my little section is actually red and the inside of that is green because it's numb. This is what the needle looks like. This is how small it is. So you guys can imagine, even though it's a little needle, I can still feel it. So yeah, I'm a big wuss when it comes to needles. So what? So what you want to do is you want to pinch your belly like this to do the injection. That way um, you're able to get the liquid into the fatty area. One, two, three. Good job. Oh, and by the way, I'm a bleeder. So after he's done, I normally just take the back end of this ice and put it on this area to stop the bleeding until I can get a Band-Aid. Can you see? Take it and put it on. That's what he does. He kisses the spots every time. And normally, after the shot, I normally swell up in this area because something that's in the cetratide, I'm allergic to, like, for the skin section of it. My skin is allergic to something that's in the cetratide. But afterwards, you're all done. So, hope this helps.